There's a new drug to treat a disorder called cystic fibrosis. It was approved in part thanks to research here in Kansas City. The trial continued despite the COVID-19 pandemic. Now it's giving families across the country a new breath of life. When Annika Haynes was born, doctors knew she was different. She was life lighted when she was 11 days. They thought she was in cardiac arrest. But it was a disorder called cystic fibrosis. My lungs are just have all this extra mucus or bacteria in them and that just causes me to like struggle to breathe a little bit more than anybody else. All the treatment is taxing. I'm like my kid is taking a handful of pills every day and at one time probably 25 to 30 pills a day. More and more treatments as she got older. Do you think CF has forced you to grow up really quickly? In a way, I think, yeah. She's definitely resilient. Annika has like a passion for life that most kids don't have. <laughs> I mean, and I think her friends and the people around her see that. What you can't see is Annika's health was out of her hands. She had had pretty severe cystic fibrosis since she was little. And uh, she was also um, uh, colonized with some bacteria that were very uh, difficult to treat and she had uh, more significant lung damage. With the treatments that we were doing and the antibiotics, we were not able to, to decrease the decline on her lung function. Yeah. Then the Haynes family was offered an opportunity to take part in a trial for a new cystic fibrosis drug called Trikafta. Trikafta, it's a combination of three medications. And we, um, here at Children's Mercy, we have been part of the research on these medications from the beginning. In the mornings, it is two, pills and then at night it is one. Do you go in thinking this is going to revolutionize my life? No, not at all. These are Annika's CT scans from 2013 to after starting Trikafta. You could see all the mucus plugging in her lungs before and it just looked like little bubbles all over her lungs and now you don't see that. Before the trial, her lungs were functioning at 34%. A few months later, it was like it was 57, pretty sure. Yeah. When you see it, what's the reaction? I was pretty shocked. Before you were thinking, I think, live your life because we, we don't know how long you have. Before the, before the trial, how long was your daughter expected to live? Um, they told us when at birth, and they've kind of hung out that hang, hung that no, number over your head was 37. So your daughter goes from a life expectancy that's almost halfway done to... I mean, she could live to be 70, 80, you know, 90, we don't know, um, because we're still seeing some improvement. And that's what's really exciting. What is it like to see an improvement like that in a young lady that you've been working with for years? Uh, well, I, no, we, uh, for many years, uh, we didn't even think that this was going to be possible. No, uh, I think that when we do these clinical trials, we hope to have uh, great improvements in, in health, but, but the, the degree that we see of improvement, it, it was a team beyond of what we were expecting. Particularly for a trial that went on in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. We have a very active uh, research program uh, and with research coordinators that are amazing, dedicated to these. We knew that uh, that was the only way of getting the medication approved by the FDA. The dream of a little girl to cure CF seems to be closer to reality. It's definitely a miracle. I mean, without it, I don't know where I'd be right now. Honestly, without it, next year I'd probably be on my way to getting a lung transplant, considering my numbers were going down so much. So it's definitely been a miracle. And it's been a miracle for everybody. A new family that has a new baby with cystic fibrosis, they will see that this is different and uh, that maybe will give them more hope. I will think that it's life-changing for them. It's really just given us all kind of a, a breather. Like we can all finally just let go, you know? What does it mean to a mom to say that you could have 50 more years with your daughter? It's amazing. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, just... You never, you never knew that would be ever be an option. I always, I always say, this is what we've hoped and prayed for, is something like this.
something that has completely changed her entire life. And given her a lot more of it. Yes. Yes. God, it makes you smile. A lot more of it, I'll say. To have a life expectancy of about 37 years yeah. to more than double that now? It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. A few weeks ago, Tricafta was approved for use in kids six and older. Dr. Escobar says that they're rolling that out to those kids who are eligible for it, about 90%. The results have been consistent and sustained, Kevin, for two to three years that they've been <sighs> looking at this drug. And that story, well done, really puts everything in perspective there. Important to note here, there's still about 10% of kids with CF who cannot use Tricafta. That's why it's crucial to continue to support research efforts. Yeah. Mm.